Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins here with us. Bobby D, we love our sunsets here in Tampa Bay, but it's hard to imagine it being like 8.30 in the morning and the sun's just coming up. 8.22 in January would be the latest that the sun comes up. So those bus stops would be pitch dark. My kids get on around 7 o'clock in the morning. I wanted to show you some of this. And, and don't, don't forget, guys, this is just for the state of Florida. So the rest of the East Coast would be on the time. They'd be switching back and forth. We wouldn't. <laughs> so sports times could get kind of crazy there as well, too. Take a look at some of these numbers right now. Next Tuesday is the first day of fall. All right, so 12 hours, 8 minutes of uh, sunlight during the day. Sunsets at 726. By October 1st, that sunsets at 715. November 1st is the day that we end daylight saving time. So the time of daylight's not that much less, but you see it really does drop off almost a good hour. In fact, a little over an hour. But 545 sunset. Yeah, that would make a big time difference, uh, but it would be lighter in the morning. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's talk about tropical depression. Sally, you can see a lot of rain still soaring up from the south here. This whole thing will continue to push to the north and the east. And you, a lot of times you can get really heavy rain on the north side of that. And I think that's what's going to happen. Widespread three to six inch amounts for many locations. So these are 24 hour totals. And so these numbers are actually going down. But there's anywhere from about 18 to 24 inches of rainfall in this area near Pensacola. A little bit less as you work your way out. Just incredible flooding. Some of the video that you saw earlier today of the beaches with the water still swamped. That's storm surge that's left over and rainfall on top of it. Look at this picture. This is just incredible. Waist deep water inside the house. This is from Foley, Alabama. That's right there near where the eye wall came over. Just you have to really, really feel for these people. All right, now the forecast for a tropical depression now, Sally, with 35 mile per hour winds does keep it around 30, 35 mile per hour winds and takes it out through the Carolinas. So it's basically a rainfall event at this particular point. As I mentioned, about three to six inches for some of the heavier downpours that we're going to see. Does get up into southeastern Virginia and the Delmarva of Maryland, Virginia as well too. Well, Delmarva. Uh, you can see that it's pretty busy out there right now. This wave has actually dropped its chances of developing, but the one in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, we're going to have to watch. I don't think it's a big threat for us, but that one is basically forecast to kind of meander in the western uh, Gulf of Mexico. This is Hurricane Teddy, and Teddy forecast to go Cat 3 with about 115 mile per hour winds and go right by Bermuda again. Poor Bermuda has been having to deal with that. This is the one in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see where it is now. And the models just kind of meander it up in here in the Western Gulf over the next five, six, seven days. So something certainly for us to watch. Not many models bring it in our direction, but it's there. So we'll keep an eye on it for you. Guys, we have one more name left on the list. That's Wilfred. After that, we're going to the Greek alphabet. Starting with Alpha, of course.